Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. So today we're talking wood. Uh, you know, I made a video, I don't know, probably around a year ago about wood and where to get your wood. And uh, those are all super valid places to still get your wood. There's a lot of really great places out there. And uh, that's wonderful. You know, I used to be able to go to a local hardwood place and I could get a sheet of four by eight, you know, MDF walnut and uh, just go to town. And I was paying like a hundred bucks. That was only a few years ago. Uh, just, it's insane, the prices of wood now and uh, the availability and just trying to find it. Also trying to get that home and cut it down and dealing with all those sorts of things. A little easier when I was working on a big CO2, but I digress. So what am I trying to do today? I'm trying to inspire you to make better and uh, a, a, a larger variety and get your imagination going and also f to save you money because you know getting pieces of wood that are warped or uh, the wrong size or inconsistent you're gonna make mistakes already and, you know that's just part of the deal uh, in case you don't know I absolutely love lasers I wake up every day and think, okay, what am I going to make today? What's, what am I going to do new? And I will take an idea that uh, I have already been working with. You know, lately, it's the bottle opener kick. I am on a bottle opener kick. That's just fair to say. I've only been doing these for, what, a couple of weeks now. And I, I just can't stop. You know, I started... Now there's a uh, Etsy link down below, uh, $2.20. You can get the uh, SVG file for light burn for this. And then you can put whatever design you want to on this. And this is for the seven inch bottle opener because hey, more real estate. It feels great in the hand. So I got this idea, not all who wander are found just because again, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a hippie and uh, you know, the, the, not, all, not all who wander are lost has been going around for such a long time. I just, I thought it was funny. So I made this one and, I, you know, I really enjoyed the process. So I go, go over and over, I'm, I make some typical ones. And then uh, I wanted to do two piece because I had seen a couple of these online and I'm using eighth inch hardwood. Now I started out, I did a whole video on this. You can go back and take a look at it on how to make these, but I hadn't gotten quite so into it at the point. Uh, but I, in, 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 short story long, I end up using eighth inch hardwood and just uh, sanding down the edges. And it just feels right. It feels great. It feels like you actually got something. And if you're going to pay 15, 20, $25, $30 for one of these, it's nice that you feel something. Um, so, you know, I'm mixing matching mountains and doing all this sorts of stuff. And then locally, this is apple country where I'm in right now. So I get the idea to change the little circle back here to an apple. And uh, I have yet to sell a single one of these. I haven't tried. I just been on a kick of making them. And that's kind of the point that I'm getting at here is, uh, you know, look at all these different woods that I'm using. I mean, these are, this is a finished wood that I got and I'm gonna talk about it in a minute, Craft Closet. And uh, that changes the game a lot because I'm able to just, uh, this is, uh, I'm able to just cut it out pretty much, sand the edges, put one squirt on it, and I'm done. Where these were taking me a couple of days because I was doing, you know, uh, several coats of the finish and after sanding and all that. Having that ability to get a finished versus unfinished, trying the difference, seeing how quickly I can make these. What if I get an order for a thousand, two thousand of these? You know, how much are they going to cost me? Can I get the, you know, a consistent wood? So I mentioned in some prior videos that I'm just trying to work with the people that uh, I'm already working with. 
a lot of channels are just taking in all this kinds of stuff and I probably will still take in some different things that I find exciting. But I mostly want to work with uh, companies that uh, I personally would work with that I am working with. So I just ended up always using Craft Closet to order my wood. I, I, they were just, it's a little bit of everything. It's not, it, price is good, but it was consistent. I had a, such a huge variety of different things that I could get. I get free shipping over $100. And they were just easy to use. It was just one of those things where I wasn't thinking about it. I was just doing it. And so I, you know, I thought, hey, I'm going to make a, another video and talk about it. And so I actually reached out to Craft Closet. They didn't re reach out to me. This isn't a sponsored video by them. I reached out to them and I said, hey, I'm going to make a video on your products because I'm using them. And uh, what can you, what do you want me to tell people? So they instantly said, well, you get a $20 off uh, any order over $100. And, uh, you know, I took advantage of that when I did it. So I think you probably should. And what happens is you sign up on their, uh, you go and you sign up on their rewards list or whatever, and uh, they send you a coupon. So don't, think that it's instant. You're going to sign up, you're going to get the coupon, and then you're going to get the $20 off. So just make sure you do that. I mean, I think it's a nice little way to start. And then you can get a variety of things to, uh, you know, practice on. And one of the, the next video I'm going to do, they sent me out some uh, acrylic. Now, I wasn't too hot on the idea of them sending me acrylic because acrylic on diode lasers is just not been a fun day for me and I've wasted so much money on doing it but since it was their money I was like fine TLDR it, it worked really great uh, most of it I did have a couple of exceptions which I will go over in the next video but it's so nice that now I wasn't even thinking about this I can use acrylic because I had been missing that but it was worth the ease of using the diode versus dealing with the, you know, the room and everything with the CO2 to be able to do acrylic. So cool enough, but we'll get into that in the next video. So there are a huge variety of wood types that you can get from Craft Closet. Uh, I'll go over it uh, at the computer here in a little bit, but in general, you know, I just getting plain MDF. You know, it's like $2.50 a sheet. Uh, I use it for, I'm using it for the underneath all of this stuff right now. I just use it for a variety of things. And it's, it's pretty consistent and easy and cheap. And I use it a lot beneath things like coasters, right? This is a, a, a two layers. I use, I use a one eighth on the top and then I put uh, an MDF bottom. Now the MDF bottom, it's always flat and it's just, it just seems to be the better way to work with. And then I put some felt on the bottom. Now, sometimes I, sometimes I just use cork. I love cork, but see my second layer has to be cork. Whereas like this is actually something new that Craft Closet is doing is the colored MDF. So now I can use uh, red beneath on, as my second layer. I, I used a black as my second layer. And I do that quite a bit for different things. So it's nice just to be able to have that. I guess they have 12 colors coming. So I, I don't know. Uh, this is just what I've been told. But I, got the, I bought the red one and the white one. Uh, and black, you know, I, I think I painted that. But... You get my point. Uh, just having that ability and variety that you can do different things. Something, I, one of the kicks I've really been on is this aromatic cedar. Not only do I love working with it, it really comes out beautifully. Now this is the uh, MDF core with two layers as I talked about. I think it looks beautiful. I know people that are into spiritual things like this. They love cedar. So that works out really well. Well, I use the MDF core for this, but for this, I use the hardwood. So being able to get both the MDF core and the hardwood is 
you know, from one place at the same order is really nice. Uh, everybody uses Baltic birch, and of course they've got that. It's consistent, you know. That's that's one of the main things. I get. I have to do orders, you know, of thousand coasters or something. You know, how am I going to do a thousand coasters? I need to know that every order, I'm going to get something consistent. And I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know that the, the actual pronunciation of this is Sapele or Sapeli from Africa. Uh, so many of the woods, you know, that I don't know how to pronounce. I think, uh, what's the other one that we were using? Paduk. I mean, beautiful stuff. And there's such a variety of beautiful things. And it could just get your mind flowing. Perhaps using different colors of the wood to make a project, which I've done in the past. I'm sure I'll pop up a picture. And I mean, hey, right here, you see the different colors of mountains and things that you can mix and match to put in, say, a bottle opener. <laughs> And as I mentioned before, they have finished and unfinished. And you can try both and see what works better for you. I've noticed that the finished wood has really saved me a ton of time. But I will say, and I'll, I'll put up a picture of this, you know, you, you might have a little bit of smoke and the heat from the laser, and settings really make a huge difference about this, but the heat of the laser is going to heat up that finish and you might see just a little bit there. So what I've been doing is uh, actually once I'm, d it's still a way faster process with the finished wood, I actually sand it just a touch after it comes out and I'm going to sand the edges of this anyway to make it feel better in the hand, right? So this is an actual one that was the finished wood. After I sanded it, then I just did a quick shot of lacquer and it's done. It's beautiful. So it did save me about, you know, eight hours of waiting for each coat to dry and redoing it. And then you got to make sure one side's dry so you could pop it over to do the other side without messing. It's a, if you've been doing this, you get it. It's, Finishing is a process. So I have to weigh the difference. Hey, am I going to pay a couple dollars more for the finished? And I have just to add all of that into my costs and what I sell it for and all these sorts of things. So yeah, I was talking about the Sapelli. This is it here. These things, you know, I sell them so quickly. Now, this isn't a new idea. There's, you can get a... Uh, you see uh, on Etsy, there's just a ton of different uh, files for this, but I've never met anybody who had already seen one. So that goes to show you that there are a lot of things that you may think are super popular, but you get them out to a show, you give them as a gift. Nobody's ever seen these things before. I, you know, this, I think it's going to be the same with these. This is a very cool and different idea. And of course you can sell them to businesses and things like that. Oh, and the last thing that I wanted to mention is they can do custom. See, this is MDF core with a print. Now this can be your print. And so you can check that out on the craft closet website. Uh, I, I had never even thought of something like that. Like I come up with a print and then put it on a piece of wood and then I can have something that nobody else has. So overall, I've just really had a pleasure working with Craft Closet. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure I'll use a variety of different places to get my wood, but this is where the bulk of my uh, purchasing is and will continue to be right now. I'm super uh, stoked about the acrylic. I mean, this particular one I, I just think is gorgeous. And in the past, I've done a lot of uh, keychains and uh, earrings out of acrylic. So it's nice to be able to do that again. So that's all I got to say in this video. 
And uh, I, I want to know what you think. Like, where do you get your wood? Uh, what do you think? You know, what am I missing? And uh, I'll try and put it in the next episode when I talk about acrylic. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Love y'all.